In this video, we're going to be designing a bearing and we're going to encase it in some sort of a framing. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free hard surface jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game changing portfolio. Link is in your video description. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with a cylinder, shift I and cylinder, right? And we're going to go here and increase the number of segments to 80. S, Z, and scale it down. And I think this is good. Now we're going to flip this on X so I can work on uh, from the front. I like to work like that. Okay, so let's just sharpen this and let's go. So first of all, we're going to do is we're going to grab these and delete them. And we're going to uh, solidify this middle part. Okay, so Q and we're going to go to um, modifiers and solidify. And this will do. And then we also need another one in the middle. So select that and Q and shift curve extract and move it inside. I'm going to scale it down. So S and shift Y. So it scales on X and Z. I go down here like this. And that's cool. Let's make it a bit thicker. Uh, so a bit thicker. Kind of like that. That will do. Cool. So now what we need is some bearings. It's actually it's a bit too fat, you know. Hang on, that's better. So here we're gonna add squat sphere with uh, machine tools and GZ. Move it in here, scale it a bit. Now this ball needs to, you know, needs to be touching both sides. And we're gonna create some grooves here so it can be a little bit larger than in this casing, okay? And we're going to um, add sort of like a casing on top of it. So another cylinder. And we're gonna um, change it to maybe 40 and scale it down and bring it up and squash it down and scale this. And I don't know, we need to fit it in here so a bit smaller. And we're going to scale it here like this and then make it a little bit fatter. There we go, maybe not as tall, yeah. So GZ and there we go. And maybe not as not as low here. So GZ. I think that will do. Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. And sharpen. Cool. We could technically cut it out um, if you want to. So Shift D, scale it a little bit, and you know difference. Uh, so you're gonna get this kind of a you know pre precise sort of a cutout. Uh, which is fine and uh, I think we're good to go. So let's apply scale here, apply scale here, apply scale here and apply scale here. Okay. And uh, let's just fix this solidification. When you apply scale and solidification after uh, resizing, you might see some, you know, uh, size shift. So remember to fix it. Okay. Now cool. So here, here what we're going to do is we're going to select that a bearing and we're gonna go to mesh tools and control click on radial array with hard plus x uh, to flip it and we're gonna create well that many bearings and we're gonna grab the same radial with this one boom that's done and now we need to create a connection here okay so let's grab uh, a cube and let's go here gz move it up scale it and we're going to rotate it on the cursor, so R, and just rotate it like this, okay? Here, and let's just rotate it on Y axis, there we go, okay? And I think this will do. If you really want to, you know, you could, uh, um, we could just uh, sort of bevel it a little bit like that, right? A little bit, so kind of follows this uh, curvature here and then let's apply scale and we're going to you know array this as well and we're going to add some bevel to it a small one and add a bevel here also small one remember the, these are machined parts so the bevel is going to be really small yeah don't make it too big or it's just going to look weak okay so small bevel will do right Cool. Probably this one is still too large, but it's okay. 
Awesome. So now we can apply that. So show up and we're going to grab a um, edge here. Split it. So control B. And we're going to create a groove. So Q and Alt and macro. Inside. Okay. Select this. Select this edge here and this one. And S, Y. I'm going to scale them out. And we're going to do the same thing here. So. Uh, Let's just create a groove and Altium Macro. Altium Macro, oh, we need to apply this, so sharpen and then select this and um, Altium Macro down. There we go. Select these two edges and kind of, you know, kind of scale them like this. And I should do this one, it's a little bit too tall, so we're going to bring it a little bit down. So uh, Alt S and you can, you know, Bring this a little bit closer here. Uh, there you go. In fact, we're going to switch this to individual origins and then Alt S. That's better. Okay, cool. So this is our basic bearing. And now what we need is um, some kind of a casing. Yeah? So we're going to borrow this one and uh, control click on curve extract to extract this. And we're going to um, add a solidification on top of it, maybe a thicker one like this, and move it a little bit to the to the front like that. And I'm gonna grab this edge here with Alt, right? I'm gonna extrude it backwards here, okay? And we're going to uh, scale it like this, actually a little bit more, and then scale it like that, okay? Cool. And this one could be a little bit deeper, so GY and move it a little bit deeper, okay? Something like that. Cool, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And um, now we can have some fun. So uh, let's uh, grab another cylinder and we're gonna create 60 Hertz and our X90. Scale it and move it here. Scale it a bit more and move it in here. Make sure it doesn't overlap here. And we're going to grab that GY move to the back. Cool. This one maybe is a little bit too uh, too wide, so we can scale it down a little bit, kind of like this. Okay. Cool. And uh, let's just uh, sharpen this. Also, we need some loops because we're gonna be merging these. So same here. We need loops, and we also need loops here. Okay. Cool, so there we go. And we can marry this to the other side, okay. Right, so now we're ready to, well, kind of ready to um, apply this. So here, we're gonna smart apply this, click, hold, click with mesh machine. Going to create a chamfer and bevels, okay? Because we wanna smooth it out. The reason why we're gonna smooth it out, because we're gonna be running a, um, a bevel here. So here too, a bevel, okay, like this. PG. And now we can actually apply this. So click here, click here, and uh, let's just boolean this together as a union. I'm gonna have some artifacts here, but that's okay. Uh, let's just sharpen this, and then uh, let's just turn off the bevel for a second. Oh. And let me see that um, this one could be going a little bit higher here. So we could combine these. Press 3 to clean that. We can remove this one. And this one should be a sharp edge. What the hell is going on here? Hang on. Let's combine these and there is some problem in here. Let me go to occlude. Let me see that. Ah, there we go. Press 3 one more time. This should do it. Okay, one more time. Click, alt, click and Loop select and Y and offset cut. Now we're talking. Now we need to choose the correct amount of these, uh, the factor. Uh, I think it's okay. We could smooth it out so it's gonna be a bit better on the curve, but actually, in our case, maybe not. We do need some more resolution here. So let's just add that here, a little bit more S on this corner. I think it's better and we're gonna run a bevel here, okay? 
So run the pebble here. And that's that. And then we're going to recalculate shops and then we need to clean it. So uh, here we can combine that and we can combine this. All right, and click out click and Y and Boolean cleanup. Scroll your mouse and connect these. And I think it's going to be fine. And then I'll text the other side. And then it's done. Now here we can extend it a little bit. So GX, I mean GY, sorry. And we're going to change for this. Okay. And then we're going to insert that. And then we're going to extrude it. Actually, let's make it thicker. It's going to be stronger. Yeah. So here we could go across. So um, shift curve extract and make it longer. Scale it in on individual regions. So shift S into geometry. Scale it in. Move it across and just let me, let's make it longer. And basically difference, right? So we got that and move it to the other side. Let's just save it because reasons. And now I can add a bevel, okay? So small one, guys, small one. This is a machined piece. You need a small bevel. Here we're gonna add a chamfer, but smaller one, okay? And we also can add a chamfer here. So sharpen that and click, hold, click, and you know, small chamfer here, okay? Cool. And now it to the other side. That looks really cool, uh, awesome. Here too we get some chamfer, so click, hold, click, and you know, add a little bit of a chamfer. Don't overdo it because if you do, you're gonna have an overshoot here. Now, here on this uh, piece, we could have some cuts. So we could grab a cube and scale it and move it up here and move it to the front and just cut it in here. But before we do SX and scale it, we a keystone effect and difference. And then we're gonna recover this and Q and control click on radial and let's create maybe five it's enough so it's gonna offset a little bit nicer here on the top we could have some brackets so maybe another cube and scale it move it to the top switch to cursor rotate it holding control move it forward all right and let's scz on individual origins okay move it backwards Sync it in here, it's gonna look pretty cool. Actually, maybe not. Maybe let's do this. Well, that's interesting. And here we could have, um, you know, some, some cuts like that. Okay, let's just mirror this to the other side. And, uh, you know, this could be actually this could be chamfered or beveled or whatever. And we could, uh, let's apply this. So operations multiply, shift click here and hold shift and mirror to all sides. So you're gonna get this bracket. Let's run some loops here on this cutter. So I need some drink, my throat is fucked, hang on. That's better. I'm suffering from some serious pollen um, allergies. It's bloody terrible, but what are you gonna do, right? <clears throat> Hang on, hang on, hang on, this is fucked um, here. And then let's do that and I think it's gonna be fine. So now here, sharpen, there we go. And we can run a chamfer here on this. Just don't overdo it. There we go. And this should mirror to all sides. If it doesn't, uh, simply, you know, run. A mirror with um, machine tools and here what we can do is you can slice this like that and the backs is gonna be nice and uniform also kind of flush here could have some you know chamfer here alt tags and you know you're good to go that looks pretty awesome cool 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 and that's our final piece so now I'm um, gonna you know texture this very quickly with our Blender Bros mods, I'm gonna show you some new mods we've created recently. Um, they're still in development as of recording of this video, but if you're watching this in June, July, you know, maybe the pack is already out, so go ahead and, you know, check it out on our website or possibly on Blender Market. We haven't decided yet. Definitely not Gumroad, but, uh, you know, BlenderBros.com or Blender Market, our store. Anyway, so let's go to... Um, here to 
not to shader to assets and rendered view cool and i'm going to be using uh, these mods here so we could grab the machine steel which is really cool now um you're gonna have to unwrap this once that drops, but um, i still have to unwrap this mesh here so you and smart tv project and here too you and smart tv project and smart tv project and here too and the small one as well and the bearings well we can't see them but you know just for the hell of tutorial let's do it properly so here we're gonna be applying all these the same mats really um here that looks pretty good awesome and the floor we could have uh, this one um, dotted steel which is pretty awesome right cool we just have to change the scale uh, so let's go to shader and change the scale to uh, maybe i don't know 10. there we go that looks pretty decent now of course different lighting i mean we could switch the lighting to um, something else uh, but uh, I'm not gonna be doing it here I'm just gonna rotate it to make it a little bit you know more presentable so the lighting comes from the right hand side and sort of you know highlights this front here up just to 1.8 so it's brighter and uh, and there you go one more thing if you wanted to create these um, threads here just run curve extract here with um, you know hard ops move this one backwards a little bit so back here apply that and select that right click and enable thread under machine tools menu in preferences and uh, let's just run some threads here and uh, you know there you go there's your thread easy peasy Japanese. Alright guys, well, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.